on Nova 100. Right across Melbourne, this is Nova 100. Good morning, you're on the air with Jace and Lauren. We are here in Melbourne, but our boy Clint Stanaway is in Paddy. And he joins us this morning. G'day, Clint. I saw it was one degree there, Lottie, and you were shivering a little bit. Uh-huh. It is uh, cold in Melbourne. Yeah. Well, and truly after midnight here, and it's uh, 24 degrees still. It's one of the hottest days of the year here. Oh. But um, what about the, some of the results? A bit sad. Well, a bit sad, except I was watching the BMX, Clint, and I'm a new fan of BMX, oh, and God. we won a bronze, and I loved it. I was screaming at the screen. Are you are you going to head out to the uh, BMX track to pull a few? What do you do? A few no, ollies? absolutely few not. It was so gnarly and dangerous. I'm not doing that. Did you just use the word gnarly? Yeah, because the commentators are saying <laughs> Yeah, because I'm cool. But, but, hey, there was a, a gold lining, though, at the Rapids. Jess Fox became the most successful Australian paddler of all time in Olympic Woo-hoo! history. In oh, Lossie's yes, got a bit of a girl oh, crush on her. I've got a big girl crush oh, on Jess Fox. So good. And she's so marketable, isn't she? Isn't she? She's a, she's a babe, too. What a legend. We love her. I also um, went to the swimming and watched the French just fawn over oh. Leon Marchand, who is a national hero here. What a night that was at pool. He's a bit of an icon over hang there. On, hang, on, hang on, hang on, Kyle hang on, hang on. Kyle Chalmers got silver. I oh, know. Hang on. So were you, were you in the swimming... Complex when Molly O'Callaghan yeah. swam. Yeah, Clint, you are a bad the omen. Bad luck is following me everywhere. <laughs> Get out of there! Well, she is a dual Olympic champion already, so we'll give her that. We spoke to her brother earlier, and he was just saying how proud he is of her. Oh, he's a legend. She's a legend. Speaking of legends, got a little surprise for you here on Nova. Just ventured into the middle of Paris, and I've stumbled across the one, the only. Harry Garside. Do you oh, want me to put him on? Yes, 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 yes. All right. Send my love. Uh, I'll speak to you soon, but here's Harry. Okay. Wee, 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 wee. Wee, wee. Hey, Jace. Hey, Lauren. Oh, 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 Harry Garside, you have... Uh, a legend. Well, you already won our hearts, but my gosh, we were all with you this week. Yeah, it's, it's been one of those weeks, a lot of, lot of ups and downs and a bit of anticlimactic for myself, but it's... It's been really nice to spend some time with with my parents who are over here in in Paris with me at the moment and just try my best to to enjoy the time with them. And then when I get back home, I'll just get in the emotion and just really feel what what has occurred over the last couple of months for myself. Harry, we uh, we were talking about you on the show yesterday. We played your uh, post-fight interview. Because I was bawling my eyes Lauren hit the nail on the head. Kids... Learn more from that and your attitude than anybody winning a medal. A hundred percent, Harry. Yeah, it's one of those things, right? Like, how often do we all fail or shoot for the stars or try at something, whether it's big or small, and not succeed? Like, this happens. This is part of being a human. This is part of being an adult. I just really mm-hmm. want, especially young people, to see that that's just part of it, right? And it's always our responsibility, our opportunity, how we react to step back, how we react to hard times in our life. And sometimes it's our fault and sometimes it's not. And I just just try my best to, to pick myself up at the moment and just... Oh, you know, but you tried. If, if I was a but parent, I would be thing. showing my kids I the did. interviews with you after your fight because, honestly, if we didn't love you already, Harry, I mean, the whole... Co- and look, I know you're in Paris, but... Everyone yeah. here in Melbourne and in Australia has been talking about Harry Garside and what a legend and what an inspiration. And mate, I, I've got three young boys, I uh, two of them, eight and ten. I was talking to them about you yesterday, and you are an inspiration, mate, so you should be bloody holding your head up high. I feel extremely grateful to be Australian at the moment. We're, um, we're so lucky to be born in our beautiful country, and I, uh, I can't wait to get home and, and touch Australian soil and, and enjoy some time with family and friends, obviously. Not the result that I wanted, but it, it is what it is, and I just got to set a, another goal and uh, make sure I try and try my best to achieve that. You know, hearing you say and also be really aware about your mental health and saying, you know, I fear for my for my mind after this. I think a lot of people could relate to that in that moment when you haven't you haven't achieved what you set out to or what you wanted to, even though you've achieved so much more in many of our minds. Uh, hearing you reference that, I mean, it made my heart split in half. Uh, how are you feeling? How, how are you feeling in your mind? It's one of those things, like, I think we all can vouch. Like, if you really think about some of the decisions you make in your life and 
some of the goals you set in your life, like what is actually the motivation behind trying to achieve them? And I, I can speak for myself. I thought, I thought the gold medal was going to be the thing that was going to make me feel whole, it was going to make me build my self worth, was going to make me feel actually good about myself. And I think I realized this in Tokyo where I got a success, where I wasn't expected to win a medal at Tokyo. And, and I did, I got that bronze medal and, and I still sat in quarantine the two weeks after obviously being COVID and I felt really unhappy with myself. And I think, mm. I think the biggest thing is like nothing outside of ourselves can make us feel good about ourselves. It's all about how we feel about ourselves. And for me, I can only speak for myself, but it's the little moments in public where I help someone carry their shopping, where I help my brother out with something, where I help my friend out when they're in need. Like they're the moments that you build self worth, where you build self importance. Mm. And that is the moment where I start feeling good about myself. It's those good. moments. It's not gold medals. It's not mm. money. It's not fame. Well, like of course those things are great. They feel good, but it's those little things in, in, in our life that we all have. We can make us feel better about it. Harry, you are a Harry legend. Uh, someone once said to me, a gold medal is a wonderful thing, but if you're not enough without it, you'll never be enough with it. To be honest, it's from the movie Cool Runnings, but it really, <laughs> but it really resonated. <laughs> Get that tattooed I think I was, I was, on you. I think I was from your uncle or something. <laughs> he was never in a running for a gold medal anyway. No, no, no. Harry. That was actually John Candy in Cool Runnings. But, um, mate, we'll let you go. We cannot wait for you to get back home on Aussie soil. We right? can't wait to see. You. Well done. We're all so proud of Good you, on Harry. Harry. Thank you, guys. Love you guys a bit. Love, Love you, you, mate. Bye. Gonna be a good day. Jason Lauren. Jason Lauren. Jason Lauren. Wake up feeling good on Nova 100. Jason Lauren. Follow them on socials.